Akil, are you working? Yeah, data gathering. I need to meet with five informants by the end of the day. Sounds like a lot of work. Akil is like the eyes, ears, and brains for us scattered bones. So then, what are you, Rose? I'm the... the head. I'm the boss at any rate. A head, but not the brains. So you're the skull? Shut up! You're ruining my metaphor! <laughs> well, our boss is more like a goddess of victory. Used to be Little Miss Goddess, of course. Little Miss Goddess? Back when our old boss was around. He used to carry her on his back all the time. Those were good times, weren't they? Yep. Help our comrades and defeat our enemies. It was simple back then. So it was. But things have changed. In the underworld, information is king. Did you find any good leads? A couple. The one they call Shepherd Malfor was originally a priest in the Church of Rolands. It seems he's angling to fill the power vacuum caused by the death of Cardinal Fortin. Figures. And then there's the business with the fake elixir. The Church can no longer ignore the situation, and they've started investigating the source. And does that mean that the village chief of Gadadin will... Gadadin? Um, let me explain. I see. So that's what was going on. Egil, do you think the decision I made... The boss's judgment is the Scattered Bones' judgment. But... It might require a bit of following up. Yeah. You're right. Let's head over to Gadadin and see how things stand. Thanks. Thank you for taking the time to come today. Lo, I am the Shepherd, Malfor. Hey, tell me, Shepherd. Is it really true that you saved the plagued city? Oh, it was nothing. I just helped the Princess of Highland a little by building a bridge in a single day. Then what about the Battle of Glavid? Did you really stop the war? Why, it was easy. All I did was tell them that this isn't the time to be quarreling with one another. It was a hard battle, but I was able to gain support from the Roland's Knight Squad. Isn't that Captain Sergei from the Platinum Knights? Then it might not completely be a lie. <laughs> Luckily, I managed to do it without getting caught. <clears throat> I suppose the Knights wouldn't just let some mere imposter do as he pleases. So you mean to say this bloke must be... an actual shepherd? It matters not what I am, but please, no matter what, believe in the blessing of the Seraphim. That is the only way to bring salvation to this world! If the people desire it so, I, the Shepherd Malfour, shall put my life on the line to deliver their prayers! Shepherd Malfour! Shepherd Malfour! May the Seraphim's blessing cover the world! This is ridiculous. Saray's the one who did those things. And I'm sure Sergei knows that too. There must be a reason. Probably. Please wait, Shepherd Soray. There's a reason behind Malfor's actions. I'm sure. I trust Sergei. 
We're quite unsure how he worked his way in, but Malfor has been a favorite of General Tuller. And so, the General has ordered the Night Squad to protect the Shepherd, Malfor. That's the reason? They are just pawns of the Empire, after all. General Tuller also has a close relationship with the Imperial Majesty, and- No more excuses! Whatever the reason is, it is clear I have sullied your honor. I can only apologize. <laughs> Not sure I had honor to start with. Anyway, it was nice to see that people expect so much from the Shepherd. It's a good sign. What a gentleman. Gentlemen, Schmettelman, what were you doing just standing around? I'm afraid I could do not. Knowing all the while who the true Shepherd was. Looks like they took advantage of just how earnest you are. It's pretty ironic. The less affected by malevolence you are, the harder it is to live an honest life. Such is the human condition, I suppose. Even so, that is how humans live. It's tough. Serrate, you're not going to sleep yet? Yeah, I want to take a look around the city. It's so quiet that I can feel the gravity of the city's history. Fitting for an ancient capital born from the height of the era of Asgard. It's kind of dawning on me. The things we read about in books actually exist. Ah, uh, what a poem this would make if we were travelers of old. A poem? Ah, Pendrago, where the evening lights are blinding sights. Come on. Okay, it wasn't great. But I gotta start somewhere, right? What the? What was that? Quit it, Miglio. It wasn't me. Let's check outside. Was that Howl just now? Him? I'm not sure, but this doesn't feel like his domain. Could it really be? in the future. Hey! 
You know, you're pretty mature, Rose. Coming from you, I'm not sure how to take that. What now, Edna? And, and you're, you're such, such a kid. <sighs> it's a fat cat? My, my, that's pretty rude of you. I prefer the term pleasantly plump. S sorry. Damn. Another dead lead. Are you perhaps Morgrim? Indeed I am. Is she famous? She's a high-ranking seraph who's a lone wolf, a uh, cat, and is imbued with a powerful blessing. Whoa. Alas, how shameful that you had to see that side of me. This city is filled with the desires of greedy humans. I don't think you should feel responsible for it. No, I must atone for it. Shepard, you are looking for a seraph to bring the blessing to this city, are you not? Um, well, this city is... Pendrago is a big city. It's impossible to eliminate all the malevolence, and the church still holds the power. But that means all the more that there are those who would cry out for salvation. They're just turning to Seraphim out of desperation. Yet are the people's wishes not genuine? I can still maintain the blessing with them. But still, you could become a Hellion again. I've got an idea. Why not use the Church's authority against them? Wait, do you intend to filter human prayers? Pretty sneaky. I've been pondering over the role of the blessing in human society. Any conclusion? It doesn't really do anyone any favors if I just take their prayers and give them the blessing in return. <laughs> Quite a lot of stress for nothing. To coexist with humans in peace, there are many things that Seraphim must be conscious of. I see. I hope the Seraphim you're thinking of will notice as well. Oh, what a quick-witted lass. Huh? You're not talking about yourself? You mean another Seraph, yeah? I truly hope they notice me and my efforts. We understand your idea. We'll try and find an appropriate vessel for you. Is the inscription of the Shrine Church still there? If we use that, I should be able to maintain a good distance with the Believers. It's still there. Please, Morgrim. Shepard, I know I have said much. But remember that I do not distrust humans. It's just that... Humans and Seraphim need to know where they stand on the issues. Yes, indeed. Both parties shall. Morgrim sure is the cat's me- I mean, quite a person. Yeah, even though she looks so fat, and I mean proportionate. Malevolence, prayer, enshrinement, giving the blessing. We Seraphim ought to reconsider how we interact with humans, like Morgrim has. We humans should do the same for Seraphim. I think making that effort is the first step for peaceful coexistence, both for the Seraphim and humans. But even Morgrim became a Hellion. Reality is cruel. Yeah, so are you. Let's not get too idealistic just yet, though, huh? Right. There was so much malevolence in Pendrago that even Morgrim couldn't handle it by herself. We can't ignore that fact. Maybe there's a reason why. A reason that might have something to do with the overflowing malevolence. You may be right. We shouldn't leave it all to Morgrim, and be sure to check up on her once in a while. Yeah. <laughs>